Hey, what's up everybody? This is Big Russ with Road Trip and RC. And it's been a while. And that's what I'm gonna talk about. So my last video I was talking about the custom body for this thing. I have lost both my Dremels somehow. And obviously you can see I have moved. Uh my my work life schedule for the last six months has been shot. I was working six seven days a week, and just didn't have time for myself. In that time, uh, my lease came up. I got tired of being away from my girlfriend, so I up and moved. 900 plus miles to be with her so no more beach crawl videos unless i go on vacation um yeah so my life has been kind of flipped as you can see i've got stuff everywhere in the condo we're still working on moving in i've been here a week uh went back to work saturday today is now uh, Wednesday, July 3rd, so getting back in the swing of things. But I'm going to give you all a quick rundown of what's been going on, what's going on, you know, what's planned, okay, what's planned still. I have the other body for this. It's still going to get cut up and turn into a pickup. It's just, I got to get a new Dremel. Um, I put my DJ crawler wheels and tires on and if anybody's wondering yes you can put 62 millimeter tires on a Defender with just with minimal modifications really I literally just have replaced shock towers and they're lower so it lifts the truck and it's not much, but it did allow me to put these 62 by 20 and a halfs and they do clear. Now full lock, it's going to be hard to tell, but full lock, you may have a little little bit of rubbing so if you're not running a bumper fine if you're still running the plastic stuff fine I've got an aluminum bumper with metal brackets so you know be careful with that anybody remembers these and this thing I hate this chassis I absolutely hate this chassis. My plan is to find a new chassis to replace it with, potentially um, an LCG rig or even a stock replacement Gladiator chassis because my links are Gladiator links. I've also thought about mixing and matching with this guy, my first crawler. I hate Enjora parts. I know I have a few. I've got their purple motor right here. These blue shocks I got from Enjora, never even got to try them out because the shock rods bent on three out of the four. Hence why there's only one on here. Um, if I remember correctly, I don't even remember which motor this is because it's not the factory one. If y'all, as y'all can see, the factory one's like half that size. Um, this will probably, probably end up with some nice tasty upgrades come this winter mainly because it's gonna snow. 
So the only rigs I have that are snowproof are the steel stock Bronco in Area 51. Still one of my favorite colors. Probably the best color on the Broncos that they offer next to maybe yellow. But this thing, the only things that have been done, Pro Light Kit and DJ Crawler wheels that do look so good and they do look factory. So this is super scale and I love it for it. And of course, big girl. Uh, this thing weighs a ton compared to the Bronco because I've got the MoFo brass links. I've got this super, super chunky brass center skid with a aluminum transmission with stainless gears in it. The bumper, the grill, like the grill itself weighs a, a couple ounces. And if y'all haven't seen, like, look how far that thing sticks out. I, no more fake uh, winch. And, oh, you can actually see some of the details in it. See, they see, even got the little radiator fans kind of milled in. So that's a cool touch, and this was cheap. Cheap, cheap. Like, I think I paid 10 bucks for the grill and bumper. And the bumper came with a winch mount. Oh, so those are those. Check out what happened to my boy Chameleon. As you can see, Chameleon's starting to look a little more camouflaged. Paint missing, and I'm here for it. I mean, you see, we are missing paint all over this rig. And somehow in my move, I am missing a headlight lens. So, Chameleon's looking real hoopty-ish, and I'm here for it. I've not really had a chance to try out these tires and wheels, especially with the uh, cantilever rear. I hope to get to take it out soon. This truck's still one of my favorites. Um, yeah, it is what it is with this truck. It's solid. It's still running the Traxxas brushed motor. It will get a hobby wing fusion. Probably not the Pro, probably just the SEs. Because I still have my uh, SEX 10 2 to finish. And everybody, oh, well, you got the 10 2. I built the 10 2 two years ago. Built the chassis two years ago and just never knew what to put in it. Never knew because I didn't have anybody around me to influence me and help me. So that one will get a Fusion SE. Don't know what servo I'm going to go on it. I've got to find a bumper to fit with the Sumo body. Um, y'all seen the body and it is sick and I love it. I've got to find wheels to fit the theme. The, uh, the axial wheels look great with it, but they're not perfect. If you get what I'm saying. Um, yeah, just little, little things that are going on that we got to figure out. Like I said, this is probably the first one on the chopping block. Um, it has good parts in terms of like what's there. I've got high clearance links. The shocks could be better than the high, uh, hot racing triple telescoping, which I mean, let's be real. That's some crazy flex. I'm just not happy with how the chassis works. There's not enough weight to it to be good. And now that I'm looking at it, probably the only Enduro part that I have that's worth a damn is my center skid. That's saying something. So I've got I've got a list together of kind of what I'm thinking about doing. 
those axles may go under the C10 with, uh, I think they're wider. So may flip the uh, RC four wheel drive wheels around and put some smaller tires on it. So if anybody was curious, yes, those are RC four wheel drive wheels and they're mud slinger tires. And these do actually fit on the Defender really nicely. But with the new look I was going for, I went with the uh, old school like eight hole beadlock steely look. I think it looks great, especially on the green. Like that's a tough combo right there. That is tough. This looks like something you would see going down the road. Whereas this looks like something you'd see sitting at the dealership. So, that's what's going on, guys. I hope to make some new videos soon. I've got uh, a hobby town not far from me that has a pretty nice indoor crawler course, which is a shock. Um, yeah, because the last place I went to with a crawler course was Dr. Dan's down in Florida. Everything else has been out at the beach or in a parking lot somewhere. So, like I said, I've got, I actually have two more projects sitting in the garage right now. Um, and I, I will introduce those as the time comes. Uh, I need another body for one. Probably do another body for the other. But they both need electronics galore. Uh, it's an old ECX Torment short course truck actually still has decent bones and then i've got a, a yeah racing sakura drift chassis with a body on it that i'm just going to retire because i no longer own the actual car i based it off of so it's just going to be a shelf queen so uh i will catch you guys in the next video keep them sideways keep them off their lids whatever you do just keep having fun guys